Hey everybody, welcome to the Acrylic Asylum. I'm Mike Ferris and I want to thank you so much for joining me on my channel. And just wanted to show you this cosmic space painting with tropical palm trees silhouetting against it. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where you'll find a list of colors and details of materials and also links to my Facebook art page and Instagram. So just getting started now, I'm taking some gesso and this isn't actually a paint even though it is white. It's actually to put a texture down on the canvas and it gives it what is called tooth and that means it gives it a rough sort of surface so that it pulls paint off the brush. And in this painting I'm going to be doing a lot of blending and some cloud techniques to show some cosmic gas clouds that are out in space. And I want to be able to blend colors together really well so this surface is going to help create that. And so now I'm just going to take the blow dryer and then we'll begin. So now I'm just going to put some permanent black and this is going to be an entire black canvas and I'm just going to take my damp roller and just spread this around evenly. canvas is all dry taking an old toothbrush and dipping it in titanium white and lots of water and I'm just gonna go ahead and flick that against my canvas like so and instantly create the universe and this will be the beginning of the cosmic background Okay, so now I'm taking my number four round natural bristle brush and absolutely no water because I'm gonna do I'm gonna be doing some dry brushing. And I'm just gonna barely touch the bristles into the white paint and I'm gonna be doing these swirly clouds and this is the start of those cosmic clouds that are gonna be in the space here. And so I'm just gonna just sort of blend it out like so. And the paint gets less and less, of course, and so where I put it down, it's gonna be more white looking like so, as you see. And that gives this cloud depth and dimension. And it works in our favor to have it blend out like that because it makes it look natural. And being that it's just a little bit of paint at a time, you're able to see through it. And I wanna be able to create this transparent look. So just gonna go in random places. You don't have to copy me to a T, but just put them in random spots. And as you can see, we're starting to see what looks like some nice, hazy, cosmic light gas clouds. Okay, so now I just wanted to demonstrate something. So I'm dipping my natural bristle number four round brush into this titanium white. And again, it's completely dry and meaning no water first because I usually dip my brushes in just a teeny bit of water to make the paint flow and all that. But in this case, I'm just doing this. So I'm just tapping all of that white paint pretty much till it's all off my brush and barely any on it. And in this way, you can control how much of a cloud you want showing if you want something more hazy and more transparent as you can see it just looks like it's barely a mist and then if I pick up more white and start you know and then blend out it's gonna have more of a brighter look and so by loading your brush this way you really can control how much cloud you want showing and how thick you want it to be 
So that's really up to you again, just randomly change it back and forth and then this way you'll create some depth and dimension in your clouds. Okay, now that it's all dry, I've got my colors out. I've got violet, I've got phthalo blue, phthalo green, deep violet, and then I've got my titanium white there in the middle. And so in the jar now I have matte medium, and I'm gonna be putting that into my colors that I mix, and that's gonna make them transparent. And now I just have my number four, um, not my number four natural bristle brush anymore, but now my smooth number four flat brush. And with that, I'm gonna mix up some Halo blue and a little bit of this violet color, a little bit of titanium white, and I'm just going to put a teeny bit of that color on my brush and I'm going to dip it into quite a bit of matte medium and I'm going to start brushing that in very lightly over what I've already done that's dried of course. And as you can see, you can it's adding the colors to it now and you can see right through them and it's keeping everything there and so I'm going to be using this effect to create all these different awesome brilliant colors that are going to blend back and forth into each other and create this really awesome lit up cosmic effect. Now grabbing some deep violet and some titanium white into that and again just a teeny bit of color on my brush and lots of matte medium and going for that transparency again and I'm just going to cover some random clouds here and there and I'm going to blend it up into that bluish color that I made before and it's going to really blend into each other really nicely. Now adding some permanent black into the scene because now I want to use that to dull some of these colors down and after dulling them down I'm going to brighten them up with some titanium white and in the painter's world that's what you would call softening that color up so now it's just like this sort of dull but soft color that's going to come down and sort of blend in with more of that direct purple that was more vibrant and it just gives more of a different shade and just more depth and interest to the eye. Now grabbing some phthalo green and just a touch of black to dull it back a little bit and then softening it up with some titanium white and then of course matte medium for transparency and I'm just going to work that color in as well and blend that up into that other lavender, more bluish lavender up above. And so I'm not really doing any special kind of direct set color mixing. Um, I was actually inspired by this piece by some NASA photographs that I saw and I just kind of got an idea and some techniques that I had in mind and wanted to try this and I'm really happy the way this is coming out so far and so with the color mixing you really can just make this any color you want you can put orange in there if you want you can put a different kind of blue you can put red in there if you want and, and you can blend some of the warm colors together that looks really cool as well so this is really just an open anything goes the effect is really simple to do anyone can do this this is very very rewarding and so I encourage you if you're watching you've never painted and you really want to try something try this one for sure because this is just a real free world of just anything you want to do and it pretty much all looks really good
down directly into phthalo green and a little bit of titanium white and just taking my number four flat brush matte medium and just going to go up and hit these clouds here and just again change the color up some more and blend in to the other ones Now just getting some of the same colors that I've done before and just getting more titanium white involved. And in this way I'm going to create this glow out of some of these in random spots and what I'll do is I'll put some plain titanium white in just some of these and in that way it's going to make it look like there's a glow outside of that brightest part of it and everything will be shining through and illuminating at some point. Okay, so now that it's dry, I'm going to do another layer and flick again some more stars on top of what I've done and then give it a quick run through with the dryer. And now it's time to repeat that same process again. So taking my natural number four round bristle brush, I am dipping just a teeny bit of it again in titanium white. No water again, dry brushing and scrubbing in some more clouds on top of what I've already done. And even though I may lose some of the vibrancy of the color due to the titanium white going over it again, it's actually going to create more depth when I go back on top of that like I did before and start adding more colors back on with the matte medium and all that. And that transparency will show through to that faded color, which you can already see through as well. And in that way, it looks like deeper space. And now just drying again another layer because it's always important to have it dry before starting off and then I'll be getting more matte medium and more colors. Now just going back and doing those same pretty much basic colors that I did before and just gonna add again like I said matte medium and now my number four flat brush and not my round bristle brush and just gonna use this smooth sort of covering over everything and again just blend everything together where they come together at and I'll be going in and adding some more titanium white and brightening some random things up as well here and there. Okay, and once again, after it's dried again, doing another layer of flicking stars at the canvas.
pin. So now I'm taking even more light color of that same cosmic color in this area. That was the violet, I'm sorry, deep violet and some permanent black and soften it up even more with some titanium white. And so what I'm gonna do is do this at each of the cosmic gases here and there and do their respective colors where it looks like these distant bright stars are just lighting up the colors of these gases and illuminating through them. So as you can see, I'm not covering up the entire faded part of that outer look. I'm just putting the titanium white plane in the middle. And as you'll see, it just looks like these bright stars that are really just shining out. Okay, and so just using my fingers to tap out the sides as you can see and just wanted to show you that and let you know that that is definitely okay to do. Okay, and now just up here in the upper left right area, I'm taking that color that I had and it's mostly just matte medium and I'm just dragging this streak through it to make it look like there's an extra cosmic activity going on and just a little bit more interest to the eye. Okay, now just getting pure titanium white and just gonna make some really bright stars and fade out the sides like I said so it can have sort of a glow and just gonna basically finalize some of these really bright areas here and there, even give it some of this streak and sort of bright star look to it. Okay, and yet another layer of toothbrush flicked stars. And again, this builds more depth and makes space look even deeper. Okay, and now just pure titanium white and just gonna hit some spots here and there. And like I said, not cover everything up and keep that glow and make this guy look like he's really illuminating and these bright stars are really popping through now.
Okay, so I'm pretty good on my cosmic background. Now I'm taking my two inch flat brush and just pure permanent black. And I'm just gonna go ahead and paint in this sort of rocky lava night scene where out of it there are gonna be all these different palms and coconut trees growing out of it. And so now I'm taking my half inch angle brush and I'm using the permanent black and lots of water because I want these guys to flow because the thing about trees, if you don't have enough water on your brush, they tend to come out real choppy and the lines look kind of rough and kind of looks like the tree's not complete in some way, I don't know. So when it comes to silhouettes, you really want your lines to look solid and black. So keeping water on your brush this whole time is definitely ideal. And so now I'm gonna do that with these different palm branches and I'm only gonna paint out just the center of each leaf and pretty much lay out everything I want it to be. And then I'll come back in there and scratch in all the different palm leaves on them. Okay, so I just wanted to zoom you in close now for the leaves. As you can see, I'm scratching in using my angle brush, and I'm just doing these slashes along the way and leaving some space in between, and then this way it creates the leaves just fine as they come together into somewhat of a point. So it doesn't have to be perfect as long as there's enough water on your brush, and you just make a slash with using just the, the barely the tip of the brush because if you press too hard, it'll make it too thick and then it'll kind of get ruined and then you'll have to do all that cosmic hard work that you did all over again to cover that up. So that can be sort of a pain. So try not to put too much paint at once because you can always add more, but it's when you put too much, then you're kind of done. So this kind of does take a little bit of practice, but here's another close up right here. So I know my hand's kind of in the way a little bit, but you can kind of see how I'm doing these little slash marks and each time I do a new slash like I said I'm going and leaving a little bit of space in between as you can see it really comes out nice and makes it look like a real palm leaf. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to take my script liner brush now and dip it in titanium white, lots of water, and just sign this piece down here in the lower right hand corner. And that is that for the Cosmic Paradise. Thank you so much everyone for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe and share with all your friends, families, and neighbors. And if there's any kind of picture or favorite piece that you guys want to see broken down in the painting process of it on this channel, 
then leave a comment down below. I'd love to paint anything that you guys would like to see painted. And for a custom piece of any kind, you can get a hold of me at any of the links down below in the description box. So until next time, guys, thank you again and happy painting.